Hi, uh, my name is Pyeong Ki Pyeon, and um, uh, I'm from Microsoft, and this work is, uh, so this paper is, pre uh, is written by uh, me, and then Chen Lei, and then Edward, and then Brian, and Ye Wang. So today I'm going to, well, we have a poster back there, and then, well, the poster is about, uh, the title is about the unified inference framework for the enterprise users from uh, data storage to the mail recipient uh, predictions. So uh, in Microsoft, we actually provide a software like uh, to the enterprise users to, uh, to, 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 uh, for them to complete their uh, own task. For example, like you know, a mail clients or the uh, uh, meeting uh, setups or the, even uh, for the words and etc. Previously, you know, we used to provide like you know a suit, uh, just a single software where we just only can allow to uh, track down each, each individual uh, software usage. But now we are actually provided a cloud suite, which can actually allow us to track all these different uh, aspects of the uh, usage for the enterprise users. And um, so the, here, the goal, the, 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 the goal is uh, we actually want to build an inference uh, framework that actually uh, build up um, and then mining all different levels of the actions in the enterprise environment. For example, email. Uh, uh, for example, email and then document sharing, etc., and then uh, combine all this information to uh, to do a relevance task. So uh, to be able to do that, we actually did some sort of a study, and then actually, you know, it's pretty obvious that uh, the tasks are often, uh, you know, very structured, and then it's actually very repetitive. So we actually come up with uh, some schematized structure where each of the actions, and then. Uh, Taken into uh, different entities in the enterprise words can be uh, can be uh, schematized. So in this schema, so we build up a schematized data model that track down uh, the occurrences of when each events happen on the on on on, on what events. So th so this we call as a current data model. And the second observation was also the understanding the context of each of the action is really really crucial to, to perform a, a good relevance, uh, good good, rele a good inference uh, task. So we also uh, uh, build a t context inform context information extraction framework on top of it. So in addition to what when uh, these events happen, where we also track why these events happen. And then we also track where and also when and how this happened. And um, we also perform the semantic understanding on the, each individual uh, actions. For example, when you send an email, we also do a semantic understanding uh, by uh, uh, understanding the topic of the email. And then when you share the document, we understand the topic of the document. And then try to encode this information into, uh, in, into the occurrence data model. And then in this uh, poster, we uh, present uh, the uh, we present uh, the, the prediction task on the mail recipient's prediction. So in the email client, we want to predict who you are trying to send an email to. And the uh, task is uh, even, uh, task is, uh, you can actually uh, you know, enter the query, or you don't need to enter the query, but at that, uh, at that moment, you, well, the system is predict uh, uh, who you are trying to uh, send a mail to uh, using the data, uh, using the occurrence data, uh, using the data we store in the occurrence data model. And then uh, we also, uh, and then, uh, and then in this paper we show that uh, it actually improved the various uh, user metrics, and then particularly, um, you know, how many uh, average keystrokes are needed for um, for uh, for user to select uh, select the candidates. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.